Welcome, I'm Keely O'Donnell from the Technical Documentation Team at MSCRM Add-ons. And today I'm gonna to go over how to set up and configure an attachment extractor online service with SharePoint for Dynamics 365 and Power Apps. Let's get started. Okay, so to start off, I'll be on the solutions page of MSCRM Add-ons. And from here, I'm gonna select the attachment extractor solution. On the following page, I'll select start free trial and then continue from there. Perfect, so I'll now select start free trial. And on the following page, I'll select the Start Configuration option, and that will open up our online service configuration window. And please keep in mind that you will not be able to view this window unless you're actually logged into your MSURM add-ons account, so make sure that you do so. And if you're not already registered, it is free to do so. And okay, so here is our online service configuration window that is opening. And oh, keep in mind that if you are adding, managing, or editing any service, you will only be able to do so if you have system admin or system customizer access. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Okay, and once this finishes loading, here we can view our services that are currently existing. And now to add our new attachment, attachment extractor service, we'll navigate to this add service plus sign in the upper left-hand corner, and of course, select attachment extractor. Now from here, the first step of creating the service is to set up your connection profile. You can do so by connecting to Dynamics 365 or Dataverse via your connection type. I'll move forward by using the Office 365 option, but there's also a regular or custom app access that you can choose from as well. So now that I already have Office 365 selected, I'll move forward with loading our environments. Next, we'll be prompted to log in with our credentials, so I'll make sure to do so, and then we can continue. Here we go. So now I'll go forward with logging in with my credentials. I'll meet you back in a second. Okay, so now our connection profile has finished verifying and we can select from our available environments to connect to. I'm going to go ahead and move forward with our sales trial here. So I'll simply select the connect button. And then once this completes the profile process, we will then move forward and be able to view our service details. So we'll go in and configure those service details and then move forward with the final creation of the service. So this might take a second to load and then we'll move forward from there. Okay, so now the connection profile has been verified. We can now view the service details. So starting with the service name, this is already set for you, but you can change as desired. However, just keep in mind that once you set the service name, it cannot be changed. The attachment ext extractor instance is also pre-selected for you to the data center that is closest to your Dynamics 365 instance for the best bandwidth possible. However, you can also change this as you wish. And then for the extraction mode, you can choose between attachments or email content. And then for the storage system, you have the option to choose between SharePoint or Azure Blob Storage. And I'll keep it as SharePoint to go with all the default settings for this example. Then for the SharePoint integration, you can choose to specify between using an integrated SharePoint or a specific SharePoint location, since we did already choose that as a storage system. And then for the storage option for entities that don't have document management enabled, you can choose to extract them to that specific SharePoint location or simply to not extract them. And then we can have the option to configure and set up our SharePoint here. And I'll go ahead and take a step, second to go and complete this step and then come back and further explain the additional options available for the service details. So I'll click our Setup SharePoint and here you have to set up the connection. Again, you choose your connection type. I'm gonna use Office 365. We still do have regular and custom app access options as well. So I'll select the Setup Connection option. And then this will require us to input our credentials again to finish setting up the SharePoint. So I'll move forward with doing so and then get back to you. Okay, so now we can see that the SharePoint was successfully set up and connected to the correct account. So I'm going to move on to show you, you the additional options for configuring in the service details. So you can specify further with the extraction by choosing to extract email, note, or appointment attachments, or a combination of the three. And then you can also set up an email, note, or appointment subfolder. And then for the data processing, you can choose to copy the data and keep it in the CRM, or to extract it and replace the data in the CRM. Now, the copy option is great if you're using a trial, but if you would actually like to reduce your file capacity, you would need to select the extract option. Since I'm just using a trial in this example, I'll move forward with the copy option. You can then choose to set up your minimum attachment size or the minimum age that the file must be in order for it to be extracted. And then with this toggle, you can also choose to enable text-only emails in the timeline. So, and then there are also advanced settings here, but I will not go into that in this video. However, there is further documentation on your additional options if you would like to look more into those. So that covers our service details here. And since I'm happy with the default settings for now, I'm going to move forward with creating the service. To do so, I'll select this Create Service button here. And then this can often take a moment to actually set up and develop the service. So this is a great time to take a little break, grab a cup of coffee, and then come back to your screen. So I'll let this finish loading, and then I'll get back to you all. 
Okay, so we can see that our service was created successfully as we can do it here in the online service list and see that the status is running. And I would like to mention here that Attachment Extractor does come with a standard 14 day free trial, but if you'd like to extend the trial period at any time, you can always reach out to sales at mscrm-addons.com and they would be more than happy to help you. So now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the service directly. And you can here you can view a lot of important information. You can see the overview and this is where you can start or stop the service. Reset extractions, you can view the status, your Dataverse URL, um, all important information is here. You can also look at your configuration, you can view your license and version info, an extraction analysis. This is where you can get a good overview of your service in general. So I'm gonna go ahead and next out of here. And then what is also important to note with attachment extractor when extracting the attachments or email content to SharePoint or Azure Blob Storage, um, say for example, from this Dataverse URL link that you can click here directly to access your Dynamics 365, um, from here, it will not change the user experience. So the attachments that are extracted will appear the same to the user when they click on the attachments, and that will pull in the data that has been extracted from SharePoint. So if you were to select any documents from your Dynamics 365, if you have that SharePoint enabled, um, the user experience will not be changed. So that was another keynote. But yeah, so that basically covers my brief overview on how to set up and configure an attachment extractor online service with SharePoint. Um, and so if you have any questions, always, always feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And also make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to avoid missing updates in the future. And that covers everything. So thank you all and have a great day.